A few days ago, Nintendo announced the upcoming DLC for Splatoon 3, which happens to be Wave 1, Inkopolis, and then Wave 2, which is Side Order, the Story Mode DLC. As far as I'm aware, currently both of these are bundled together, and that's the only way that you can get them. They're currently available for pre-order on the Nintendo Switch eShop. And a question that I've seen going around a lot is, is this DLC actually worth purchasing? I know that people have a lot of mixed feelings, especially about the Incopolis DLC, and wondering whether that's even worth it. So in this video, I've decided to share some of my thoughts about this question and go over if I think this DLC is worth purchasing. So as I said at the start, this DLC is currently bundled with Waves 1 and Wave 2, Wave 1 being the Incopolis DLC and Wave 2 being Side Order. As far as I can tell, it is going for $24.99 on the Nintendo Switch eShop. And also there is no way of buying one of these or the other separately. Now, the most controversy I've seen around this DLC so far is that a lot of people really don't feel like the Incopolis DLC is worth the purchase, because as far as we can tell from what Nintendo has revealed about it, it is basically just a reskin. Now, some people have no problem with that at all, myself included, honestly. I'm really happy to be able to visit the world of Splatoon 1 in this game and just have somewhere new to explore, some new characters to interact with, etc. But I do understand where people are coming from. It doesn't seem like a lot of content for $25. But something that I do feel like a lot of people are missing is that most likely this Incopolis DLC on its own would not nearly be worth that much. In fact, it would most likely be worth about $5. The reason for the higher price tag, of course, is because this is bundled with Side Order, which is the Story Mode DLC, something which currently seems like it will be equivalent to the Octo expansion in Splatoon 2. I think another problem right now is that honestly we don't know very much about Side Order and how much content it will contain, so we're kind of having to take Nintendo's word for it if we do want to purchase it now that it will have enough content. I do think this was a bit of a mistake on Nintendo's part and they definitely should have shared more information about what Wave 2 would have included, but I guess it might not even be ready yet and it's not confirmed to be coming out really anytime soon, although it probably will release at some point in this year, I do believe. But I am going to say that I do feel like Side Order is going to have at least as much content as the story mode of Octo Expansion. I don't know about all the other extras and such, after all you did get cool things like being able to play as an Octoling and such. But in terms of story content and such, I definitely feel like Side Order is going to be where the bulk of the content from this DLC really is. Now that does mean you will have to pay extra for the Incopolis DLC, you have no choice but to get it if you do want to get Side Order. But I think if you've just been looking for somewhere new to explore, or you really miss the nostalgia of Splatoon 1, then it will definitely be a worthwhile addition to your game. It's true that it mostly does seem like just a reskin, after all the shops seem to sell the same stuff that they do in Splatsville, but you will also be getting to interact with different characters and getting new dialogue from them and such, so for me personally, I'm pretty happy with that. My overall conclusion would be, if you really want side order, then this is definitely worth purchasing. There's most likely going to be a lot of content there for you to enjoy, but it might be worth waiting for Nintendo to announce more details about it if you aren't desperate to get that Incopolis DLC right now. If you do want the Incopolis DLC right now, then you might as well just go ahead with it and you'll get the side order later. I definitely think it would have made sense for Nintendo to do these separately, so that if you didn't want the Incopolis DLC but you did want the story mode, then you could still get that. But at the end of the day, it is $5, so it's not a huge price increase. And if you aren't interested in the story mode at all, then I would say this probably isn't worth purchasing. But then again, I'm pretty sure that Side Order will come with some content that you can enjoy outside of the story mode too. We'll just have to wait and see exactly what that is. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. Do you think this DLC is worth purchasing? Have you pre-ordered it already? If you made it to the end, be sure to comment Order Gang down below so I know that you did. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and if you haven't already, consider subscribing and turning on notifications for more.